A new kind of battery has just emerged from behind Tesla's sealed lab doors in Austin, Texas, and it's nothing like what came before. Flashy launch, no press event, just a quiet breakthrough that's now sending shockwaves through the EV world. From the outside it looks like any other battery pack but inside it's faster, safer and more powerful than anyone thought possible. It doesn't just store energy, it delivers it instantly with no fade, no lag and no overheating. Tesla hasn't just improved the battery, they've changed the game forever. The old game was lithium's limitations. For more than a decade the electric car race revolved around one material lithium. It powered everything from luxury sedans to budget EVs and it was treated as the unquestioned heart of the industry. But lithium came with baggage. Every engineer knew its weaknesses, slow charging, gradual capacity loss, and the looming risk of thermal runaway when temperatures climb too high. The best minds in the field worked to patch these flaws with slightly faster chargers, more advanced cooling, and new cell designs. But the gains were always incremental. A few extra miles of range here, a couple of minutes shaved off charging there. It was progress, but it was slow. The conversation became a cycle of managing limitations rather than breaking past them. Even as headlines celebrated each improvement, the core problems never disappeared. Lithium was still expensive, still difficult to source, and still vulnerable to the politics of global supply chains. While the industry focused on squeezing more life out of the same old chemistry, Tesla quietly stepped away from the crowd. They weren't interested in winning the old game, they were preparing to end it entirely. The Austin breakthrough started with a question, why keep fighting lithium's weaknesses when another path was right there untouched? So inside Tesla's Austin lab a small team began experimenting with aluminum which honestly was a metal dismissed by battery researchers for decades. It was cheap, super abundant and incredibly conductive but, you know, it had one fatal flaw, ion lock. Aluminum ions could definitely hold energy but they really struggled to release it quickly enough for real world use. For years, that was the wall no one could break through. But Tesla found a way, they developed this proprietary carbon graphene substrate laced with atomic scale induction points. And, it didn't just allow aluminum ions to move, it actually let them fly. The moment it worked, everything changed. Suddenly, the limitations of lithium weren't a problem anymore. Tesla had unlocked a material that could move energy almost instantly without overheating, without degrading, and without the fragile supply chains that have haunted the EV industry from the very start. The breakthrough wasn't just in the chemistry, it was in how the power was delivered. Tesla called it quantum burst control, or QBC. Instead of pushing energy out in a steady, limited flow like traditional batteries, QBC shaped and released it in precise, high-speed pulses. The effect was instant torque with zero lag, as if the battery could, you know, read the driver's foot before it even moved. Lab tests showed numbers that honestly didn't seem real. 7,000 watts per kilogram, which is more than five times the output of Tesla's own 4680 lithium-ion cells. And the more the battery heated up, the better it performed. Where lithium cells risk meltdown past 40 degrees, aluminum ions actually hit their stride at 85 degrees, delivering stable, repeatable power without cooling systems straining in the background. It was like going from a garden hose to a fire hydrant. The same energy but unleashed with unstoppable force. For Tesla, that wasn't just progress, it was the start of a new era. Tesla didn't just slot this new battery into an existing car, they built an entirely new machine around it. Internally, the project was called Redwood. Publicly, it would become the Model 2, a compact EV with numbers that honestly sounded like science fiction. A starting price under $16,000, a range of 550 miles on a single charge, and most unbelievable of all, a full recharge in five minutes. Early prototypes were tested in complete secrecy, disguised under plain black wraps running laps on closed tracks. The journalists who got rare test rides didn't know what was under the hood, only that the car launched harder than anything in its class, hitting 0 to 60 in just over 3 seconds without a hint of fade. No overheating, no throttling, no cooling down messages. It just kept going. This wasn't Tesla playing catch-up, it was Tesla moving so far ahead the rest of the industry couldn't even see where they'd gone. First, like always, be sure to hit the like button down below. It helps us out tremendously with the reach of this video, thank you. For decades, aluminum was the punchline in battery research. Yes, it was light, yes, it was everywhere. But in the lab it was unstable, too reactive, and too slow at releasing stored energy. Most scientists wrote it off and moved on. Tesla didn't. They realized aluminum's flaws weren't a dead end, they were a challenge, 
By embedding the aluminum core in a crystalline structure modified with graphene-like layers, they turned weakness into strength. Instead of degrading with heat, the structure tightened, becoming more efficient the hotter it ran. In deserts, on racetracks, under heavy loads, the performance didn't fade, it climbed. And because aluminum is the third most abundant element on Earth, the supply chain problems that plague lithium and cobalt simply disappeared. No mining choke points, no geopolitical bargaining chips, just raw, scalable material ready to power millions of cars. It wasn't just better battery chemistry, it was a complete reset of the rules. For years, fast charging was the Achilles heel of EVs. Even the best lithium packs needed half an hour to get close to full, and that was on the most advanced chargers. Tesla's aluminum ion battery tore that limit apart. In a closed door demonstration for investors, engineers rolled out a plain black Model 2, plugged it into a standard supercharger, and started the clock. Five minutes later, it was at 80% capacity. No exotic cables, no special infrastructure, just the new chemistry and a re engineered charging interface built to handle the surge. Inside the cells, nano structured pathways moved ions like liquid light, bypassing the resistance points that slow lithium down. Even more shocking, the battery barely warmed up during the process. No fans roaring, no coolant system straining, just raw energy transfer, clean and repeatable. In that single moment, one of the biggest excuses people had for avoiding EVs vanished. Charging time was no longer a problem, it was barely even a pause. Most batteries start dying the day they're made. Every full charge and discharge shaves a little off their capacity until eventually they can't hold enough to be useful. Tesla's aluminum ion battery flipped that reality on its head. Each cycle didn't wear it down, it strengthened it. The internal structure realigned itself under stress, like bone healing stronger after a fracture. In testing, even after 500,000 full cycles, the battery still delivered 100% of its original performance. That's more than a century of daily use without fading. And it wasn't just about longevity. Regenerative braking became almost absurdly efficient, capturing up to 98% of the energy normally lost in deceleration. In city driving, that meant an extra 20% range without touching a charger. Extreme heat, cold, high-speed launches, nothing shook it. The battery didn't just survive abuse, it thrived on it turning every drive into proof that the old rules of battery life no longer applied. Tesla knew a breakthrough this big couldn't be bottlenecked by slow traditional production. That's why the first aluminum ion hub was built in Giga, Mexico, a factory designed from the ground up for speed, efficiency, and scale. Gone was the water-heavy, slow-coating process used in lithium plants. In its place, Tesla used a dry electrode method that cut production time in half, and eliminated billions of gallons of water waste each year. From raw materials to finished battery packs, the process took less than 72 hours. But you know, Giga Mexico was only the beginning. Tesla's plan was a swarm dozens of smaller autonomous microfactories placed around the world, each producing up to a million packs annually. By spreading production globally, they broke the lithium supply chain's chokehold and sidestepped geopolitical risks entirely. It wasn't just about manufacturing, it was energy independence built, charged, and deployed on a scale no other automaker could match. The impact on cost was even more profound than on performance. The bill of materials for an aluminum ion pack was a fraction of a lithium ion pack. Aluminum, manganese, and carbon are orders of magnitude more abundant and cheaper than lithium, nickel, and cobalt. This economic reality is what made the Model 2's sub-$16,000 price point not just achievable, but profitable. Tesla was no longer competing on the price curve of EVs, it was competing directly with mass-market internal combustion engine cars. The goal of universal electrification suddenly seemed not just plausible but inevitable. Beyond the car, the implications began to ripple outward. Tesla's energy division, previously focused on lithium-based power walls and megapacks, immediately pivoted. The first aluminum-ion grid-scale storage installations were announced, promising to store renewable energy with unprecedented efficiency and a near-infinite lifespan. The concept of a forever battery for solar and wind farms began to upend the entire economics of the renewable energy sector. Homeowners could now envision a power wall that wouldn't need replacing for a hundred years, fundamentally changing the value proposition of residential solar. The aluminum-ion breakthrough also answered Tesla's most persistent critics. The environmental concerns over lithium and cobalt mining rendered moot the anxiety over range and charging times, erased, the fear of battery degradation and costly replacements, 
eliminated. In a single sweeping move, Tesla had addressed every legitimate technical and ethical drawback of the electric vehicle era it had helped to create. Now, the landscape of transportation and energy has been permanently altered. The race is over for who can build the best battery. The new race is for who can adapt to a world where energy is abundant, stable, and almost infinitely reusable. Tesla is no longer just a car company, it is an energy infrastructure company, and it has just laid the foundation for the next century. The future isn't coming, it's being charged in five minutes, and it's built of aluminum. The arrival of Tesla's aluminum ion battery isn't just another step forward, it's a leap that rewrites the rules for what an electric car can be and what energy itself can mean in our daily lives. Charging time, range, battery life, and cost, the four pillars that once held EVs back have all fallen at once. Now, the question isn't whether electric cars can replace gas, it's how quickly the rest of the world can catch up before they're left behind. Because the race is no longer about building a better car, it's about building the future and Tesla is already there.